popular Yoruba freedom fighter, Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known and called Sunday Igboho, has given a fresh eviction notice to killer headsmen in the southwest, stressing that he will ensure they are all smoked out of the forest very soon. Igboho stated this in an interview anchored by his spokesperson, Oluyomi Koki, noting that he would never give any order without monitoring compliance accusing him sorry according to him i beg your pardon according to him the issue of agitation for the yoruba nation is non-negotiable and no jupiter can stop it Iboho also insisted that no governor can stop the yoruba nation rally noting if any governor says that it will not be obeyed because Yoruba land belongs to all Yoruba indigents. He further warned criminal elements hibernating in the forest to leave because henceforth there must not be any issue of kidnapping again in the zone. Iboho, who spoke in Yoruba, said he can how can six million people be commanding about 250 million people of other Nigerians. Marriage is not by force. We can't live with you again. The Yoruba nation is a vehicle of salvation and I want all the Yorubas to, um, to come on board the vehicle and have their seats. How can we go back when we are almost at our destination? Those who have not joined us should do so now, because there is no election come 2023. Yorubas will go. He appealed to all youths not to insult elders in Yoruba land, according, including the traditional rulers. Please, do not insult our elders again. I don't want anyone to cast aspersions on our traditional rulers that they have collected money. No, don't do that. Even if they were given money, it's part of the commonwealth that was stolen. Don't fight the police or any security agents. Let's do our rally peacefully. Tell President Muhammad Buhari if he doesn't understand Yoruba, tell him in English that we don't want bandits in our zone again. Work has begun already, and from Monday, I will begin combing all forests in Yoruba land. I want all Fulanese in the Yoruba land to leave. I myself will monitor compliance with the eviction notice. I don't issue an order without ensuring compliance. As from Monday, we don't want to hear of any kidnapping in Yoruba land again. I will show them the stuff Yoruba people are made of. We will tell them there is a clear distinction between Yorubas and the Fulanese. All these weapons they are brandishing, we will collect them with ease. We will blow wind into all the forests in Yoruba land. If we don't prove to these people who we are now, they will be encroaching on our lands when we achieve our Yoruba nation. He challenged anyone who claimed to have given him money regarding his agitation to come forward and say it out. If you know you have given me money that I should shelve the Yoruba nation struggle, Come out and say it now. No amount of money can stop me from going ahead with the struggle. You can't kill me. Kill who? Throw a bomb at me. If you throw a bomb, I too will send thunder, he said. Iboho also dismissed rumors of his kidnap, saying no one can kidnap me. 
I know you Yoruba people love me. I am not missing. We are almost there. All those who go out with me to rallies, you are safe. No policeman can arrest you. We are asking for our rights. No one can intimidate us in our fatherland. No governor can say we must not have rallies in his state. We are in Yoruba land. It will be okay if Britain or the United Nations come to our aid to help us actualize it. If not, we will never back down. It's possible some political hangers on will align with politicians because of benefits they get from them. Don't mind them. They are too minute to stop us, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Yoruba activist Sunday Boho has come out to state or give a fresh eviction notice to the killer headsmen and criminals in the southwest, especially the kidnappers. And he has vowed to ensure compliance. He has said he cannot be arrested, he cannot be killed. That he is ready to face any of them. So be that as it were, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It seems as if there are still cases of you know the headsmen in the southwest coordinating activities of kidnapping and banditry, carrying out um evil activities, and this has led to the fresh eviction notice that Sunday Boho is issuing. Well, it is what it is. You recall that the government, the federal government, through the president, had recently stated that the headsmen who carry K-47 are not Nigerians and that they come from other countries and are foreigners. So the question is, what has the government done about it? Having known this, what has the government done? Probably nothing. Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys? Please drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet subscribed. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.